Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Firstly, today I want to tell you why I'm in our basement. Uh, it is simply because we have some guests over and I don't want to displace them from uh, their bedroom. Uh, that being said, I want to tell you today about a problem that I encounter on a weekly, at least, basis in sleep clinic. When I see people with insomnia, as anybody else that treats people with insomnia, it is very important to find out exactly when they go to bed, how long it takes them to fall asleep, how many times they wake up at night, how long they stay awake when they do, what time they wake up in the morning for the final time, and what time they get out of bed. And it's also important to know if they sleep during the day. Now, a kind of very common uh, history I get, it goes something like this. Somebody goes to bed, let's say around 10 p.m. It takes them, let's say 45 minutes to an hour to fall asleep, maybe more. Oftentimes it's up to one and a half, two hours even. Uh, they wake up every two hours and it often takes them 30 minutes to an hour to fall back asleep, asleep each time. They wake up for the final time around you know, 7.30 because they somehow sleep the best, you know, that last stretch of the night or the early morning. And they get out of bed, uh, let's say, let's say eight. So to me, you know, what do I do with that information? Well, in my mind, I'm thinking this person spends about 10 hours in bed and may need to sleep, let's say six or seven hours. So what they're doing is they are feeding their insomnia when they should be starving their insomnia. So the problem is that a lot of insomniacs trying to sleep more, go to bed a bit earlier, they may go to bed at the same time every night, uh, they have a hard time sleeping, they finally sleep towards the end of the night and they get out relatively late. So they're giving their insomnia a lot of time to work with. Again, in my words, they're feeding their insomnia. They should be starving their insomnia. What do I mean by that? Well, counterintuitively, they should be spending a little bit less time in bed until their insomnia has been starved, meaning until they no longer uh, uh, spend a lot of time falling asleep and waking up a lot of times at night. And when that happens, they may be able to gradually extend time in bed until they find uh, timing that works. This is, of course, another way of describing bedtime restriction. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, please check out my uh, video from a couple of days ago, uh, Insomnia Insight. Number one, bedtime restriction. There's a shorter one as well. I think is number three or four, something like that. Um, as always, uh, if uh, this was helpful, let me know. If it was not helpful, even more important that you let me know so I can make this more, uh, more helpful. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you for today.